Ash Wednesday is the day when we receive ashes, which are a sign that we want to repent of our sins. We hear the call of Jesus in the Gospel to prayer, fasting and almsgiving. These three things are the medicine we need to rid ourselves of the tendency to put ourselves first at the expense of others, especially the poor and the needy. Prayer creates space for God. Fasting creates space for someone else to have something more. Almsgiving creates space for us to share what we've been given with those who have much less. The ashes we receive are a reminder of our mortality and that life is a God-given gift. They are also signs of new life that we're promised because of the sacrifice that Jesus made of his life to the Father on the cross. Recently I celebrated Mass in one of our churches. I had been the parish priest there some years ago. One of the parishioners said to me, it has been a hard winter. He spoke of the challenges that ageing brings. We're also aware of the many challenges that we and others face because of rising prices, the suffering caused by war and the recent earthquake that straddles the border between Syria and Turkey. I'm looking out of the window into the garden at the moment and there are many signs of new life around me. The daylight hours are increasing, the sun is shining across the lawn, early spring flowers are beginning to appear, birds are foraging in the grass and there's a the sound of their cheerful chirping. May our Lent journey prepare us to receive the joy of the risen Lord on Easter Sunday.